Good morning guys. Today is September 30th, so that means it's the first day of Vlogist. Not Vlogist, Vlogtober. You will see that. You will see this video on the first day of October. Just as in the living room. My hair looks crazy because I can't find my hairbrush. I gotta dig around the house and look for it. But uh, yeah, so I wanted to say good morning today on the first day of Vlogtober. <laughs> okay, so my hair has been brushed and is looks decent now. <laughs> Um, I've got to, me and Jesse, once he wakes up all the way, he's still on the couch. I gotta get him dressed and all that. We gotta run to the post office because I got a package in today. And I gotta get a money order for our rent. We gotta go to Walmart because I gotta return this shoe rack. I know, I'll get you dressed in just a minute, okay? Hold on. <laughs> and, uh, I got two of those because I was gonna try to use them for my craft fair as tables, but they're not gonna work. So I'm gonna keep one because we needed one anyways for our shoes. I'm gonna return this other one. And I'm gonna look for plastic crates. But I can't find them anywhere. Our, none of our Walmarts have them. And you can't order them online through Walmart. It's, it says store only. I think it's all crooked. And, um... I'm just having a hard time finding them. I don't know if the Dollar General would have anything like that. And they have them at like the office supply stores, but they're like $14 each. And I'm not going to buy them for $14 each uh, for a craft fair. But, I don't know. I'm just going to keep looking between now and uh, uh, the date of the craft fair and hopefully get something um, figured out. <laughs> I'll figure something out. I know. But yeah, so we got to go to post office. We got to go to Walmart. And I think that's everywhere. Can you wake, are you going to wake up? I can't wake up again. Wait, you got to get up and go potty before you can um, get your clothes put on. Why? Are you going to go with Mama? Yeah. Come here and push these buttons. What do you think of that? It's funny. It's funny? Yeah. Oh, we need to get you a trick-or-treat bucket. Remember? Here's what I found. Wait, 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 wait. Mama. You want some Play-Doh? Mama. What? So you can get that if you want it. It's under $10. You can actually get two of those if you wanted two of those toys because those are five dollars each. This is what mommy this is what we have all the time. Wine video for a dollar. Yeah. This is a wine show. Okay. <laughs> I just battled with um my tripod. The air conditioner is just kicked on so it's probably loud, but this is a vlog in real life, so it's just gonna have to happen just going to have to happen. Got some stuff I wanted to show you guys. Almost back here. So the mail that I got today, um, I was expecting a package and it has nothing to do with crochet crafting, but it does have a, to do with crafting. So I'm gonna share it with you guys anyways. But I got a card today also. Did I buy anything else? I'll show you the other stuff that I bought earlier at Walmart in a few minutes. Um, Devin just left for work and Jesse's in his bedroom playing, so I'm filming. But I got a card today in the mail. Um, I went, cause you see the, uh, he's laughing. You see uh, the front of a letter um, as a picture when you have the um, informed delivery on the PO box or whatever. So I saw that it was, you know, it's got my address on it, which I can show you because it's in the description box. <laughs> but um, it's just a PO box, it's not my actual address. But um, so I knew, and you can tell it's handwriting and really nice handwriting, that it's from, I, I assumed a viewer, <laughs> and I was right, it's from a viewer named Robin, and she's, she has really nice penmanship. If you're watching this, Robin, you have really beautiful handwriting. It almost looks printed. It's so nice. But um, she wrote me a really nice letter and sent me this card. If you can see it, good. I think it stayed still long enough. And um, 
she uh, she sent me a gift too, which I super appreciate, and I almost cried after I opened it, but uh, I'll keep that part private. But if you're watching this, Robin, <laughs> I just wanted to say that for you. But she mentioned in here that her grandmother's name was Ella, and that she tried to get her sons to name their daughters Ella. And um, it's funny, my grandmother's name is Luella, so my mom named me Ella after her, but without the Lou part, which I'm appreciative of. But um, I always thought that if I had a girl, if Jess had been a girl, I wanted to name her, him, her, <laughs> Ella, after me, because no one ever names kids after the mom. They always name them after the dad. And uh, we were going to name him either <laughs> Ella May, M-A-E, or Norma Louise, which I know if you're a fan of Bates Motel or Psycho, the old one, that's the mom's name, Norma Louise. But I was doing it because Norma would be the girl version of Norman, which is my father-in-law, and Louise is my mom's middle name, so we were going to name it Norma Louise. And uh, Jesse is named after both granddad's middle names. His name is Jesse Dwayne. Devin's dad's name is Norman Jesse. And my dad's name was Jimmy Dwayne. So it's Jesse Dwayne after both grandpas. Anyways, um, but I was gonna name a girl Ella if I had one. But I also ordered, I, I'm not like a professional cake maker <laughs> or anything, but I do dabble in making cakes and I love making Devin's and Jesse's birthday cakes. And I've, over the years, I've made uh, decorated cupcakes and regular cakes just because. And actually, I might make one this weekend just to practice using these tips. But I ordered, I needed some nice floral tips um, because I'm going to be making my mother-in-law her birthday cake. Her birthday is the 28th of October, but I'm pretty sure she's going to be away that week on a trip. So I'm going to make it for her the week before that. So in like two and a half weeks, I'll make it. And um, my father-in-law... The light keeps fluctuating. I guess the outside light is, you know, clouds. Anyways, my father-in-law asked me if I could make this cake for her. So, uh, I will show it because it'll be part of Vlogtober. But, um, so I ordered, I went on Amazon and I was looking because I needed more cake piping tips anyways. And this one comes with a whole bunch of them. And these are Russian tips, which if you don't know anything about making cakes and stuff, Russian tips are really nice, like, intricate tips. And depending on how you put the icing in the piping bag... Uh, it can make a flower different with different colors petals just with squeezing it once without having to build the flower yourself if that makes any sense so I ordered this little kit and it's in a really cute little box but uh, I'm not sure how you say that it's like Jim Jim Lawn but they're Russian piping tips and it came with a whole bunch of them and it came with some other stuff too let me lay it all out <laughs> all right already me and Devin was already looking through them earlier all right these are the russian tips right here these are huge these are this right here is like the regular size piping tip and these are the russian tips first it came with a ton of or metal <laughs> regular piping tips they're just all the different kinds of tips to make different shapes and stuff and that's cool because these are metal mine are plastic i just have to make sure to dry these really well when i wash them so they don't get rusty but then the russian tips um, that one's not a floral one, but like this one, it's hard to get them apart, kind of, and there's one. I'm actually, this is probably going to be one of the ones I'll use on my mother-in-law's cake. There's just all kinds of them, and depending on how you put the icing in the bags is how the flowers will come out different looking. There's one. I'm not sure what that one's for, but we'll figure it out as I go along. But all kinds of, that's like probably a rose shaped flower there's just all kinds of them i can't wait to use these i might just buy a bunch of icing this weekend and just make a bunch of icings and practice piping and then it also came with it's got all kinds of couplets or i think that's how you call it these are the ones for the big tips the big russian tips and then it did come with a, a little one for the uh the little regular piping tips and then I also got three ball tips, which I've been wanting some of these anyways. These are good for putting a ton of icing on a cupcake. If you've ever seen, usually at like events or fancy bakeries, they'll have a cupcake and it'll have like a huge bound of icing in like a curly pattern up. These are good for doing that to make uh, a pretty dollop looking of ice, icing. But the different waves on this makes the, the edges of the dollop look fancy. And uh, that's good for people like me who love a lot of icing on cake. So I got three of those. And then this is a little pedestal thing for 
piping like a rose you build it on it and it it's round so you can like spin it in your hand to uh, make the petals and then these little scissor things are for you to scoop the flower up and then put it on your cake that's what these little things are for and it came with a cleaning brush and this little brush or brush <laughs> this little tip is for like injecting uh, icing or gloss or something inside of a cupcake or baked good and so you can get it into the cake part and then it came with some bags it's in a plastic bag it came with this one blue one that you can see is a silicone reusable one so you you just wash it out and reuse it and then there, I think there's like 10 uh, disposable ones in here too uh, piping bags for dicing and then it came with a little card here's a example of flowers that it, you can make with it something just shifted behind me and then here are the different tips with the flowers they make and see how the flowers are different colors the, the way you do the different colors is all about how you stack the icing into the piping bag um, and when I get around to doing that, I might try to film it a little bit. And there's that tip that you use to inject stuff. And see all the different ways. This is like a grass tip right here, which is good. I needed that. Oh, I like that one. So that's that big mound of icing I was talking about. <laughs> the, the ball tips do. It's just all kinds of... And these are all the regular piping tips. I have some regular ones that I bought just at Walmart um, and that's what the last few years if you guys have been watching <laughs> I've made Jesse's birthday cakes I made him a fish birthday cake for his first birthday his second birthday looked like a dirt cake it was um, I used Oreo cookies to make dirt and I bought candy rocks at Hobby Lobby and it was a uh, chocolate cake you know with little toys on it and stuff and then last year I made him just a big number, well this year, this last birthday, <laughs> I made him a big number three and I piped a little bit on it. <laughs> I'm not the greatest at piping, but it's, it's like any skill, you gotta do it to get good at it. But uh, I just wanted to show you that with you because you guys will be seeing that soon um, when I make my mother-in-law's cake. And I might actually make a little cake this weekend or some cupcakes just to practice with some of these because I think it'd be fun to uh, practice it and we don't need a lot of groceries this week so I have more money in the grocery budget to spend on random food <laughs> but yeah so I'm gonna hop in the living room real fast and show you the other things that I bought okay some of the other stuff that I bought today I left some of it in there I just leave stuff everywhere but I bought some you know those weights that you put birthday balloons on so that they don't fly off I bought four of those to hang my sign up using weights on my table so I don't have to like attach it to my table at the craft fair and I will show you guys how to do that when I do my setup video which will be eventually <laughs> be before the craft fair. But I also bought uh, six of these boxes. They were 70 something cents, I think. And I know I could have got them for free by going to stores, but um, I just want something easy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build these. I'll probably cut the four of these flaps off and then close the back flaps. And I'm gonna use these as shelves on my table. And I'm going to wrap them in black paper just so that they're all nice and clean in the same colors so that when I stack them up my idea is to stack three and then two and then one so that I have different cubbies to put little amigurumis in and then bigger ones can sit on top of the boxes parts <laughs> that's my idea I don't know if it can work I was gonna try to buy plastic crates but I can't find any of the cheaper ones local to me and the only ones my Walmart have were six dollars each and I don't really want to invest 18 to like 30 something dollars worth into plastic crates that I may only ever use at this one craft fair because I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing craft fairs and if even if I do another one it won't be until next year so they would just be sitting around until my next craft fair so I thought these boxes would be a cheap alternative and they'd be easy to replace if I accidentally break one and I can store these pretty easily um, in this big closet behind here <laughs> uh, until the next craft fair that's the idea I guess I don't know we shall see
swinging? Yeah, I'm going to do it. That's so fun, huh? <laughs> Hey guys, I've been pretty busy today and haven't really recorded. Jesse's playing a game on the TV. <laughs> yeah, play your game, okay? He's playing the Xbox. I got gum in my hand because I have a bad habit if I have gum in my mouth. While I'm filming, I will chew it and I need to not do that when I'm filming. But I, um, I really should be crocheting on some more projects for the craft fair. But I feel like I have a lot of stuff for it and... I highly doubt I'm going to sell everything when I go there. So I'm trying not to put pressure on myself to keep making stuff. I have a few whips going over there. But uh, probably, I don't know if I'll finish them <laughs> in the next uh, week and a half-ish. I did design a pattern today and I got it sitting right here. I can't show it to you because it's you know it's a secret. I like to keep them a secret until I release them. I got one completely designed. I already got the pattern written and everything. I just need to get it tested. <laughs> And uh, I remembered to take photos while making it so I didn't have to make another one, just take photos. And then I've got a few sketches over here. I'm not a good artist, but uh, more that I want to work on. Um, tomorrow I'm going to work on another one and try to get them to out to testers and up it's pretty soon. We will see. I got one in at testers right now. And actually I do need to make another one of those to uh, take pictures of. I probably should have worked on that today. What is tomorrow? Tuesday? I will work on that tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, 9.15 here, so things are winding down. I'm going to be uh, cleaning up the kitchen here in a minute. And getting everything ready for bed. And we'll be heading to bed soon. So I guess that's everything for vlog Vlogtober Day 1. Where is this game going to me be? Alright, go to the potty. Turn the light on. <laughs> He's so cute. But yeah, I will see you guys in the next Vlogtober. I can't guarantee it'll be a daily thing because, one, my life is a little boring. And two, um, sometimes I forget to film. And tomorrow, like tomorrow, I don't think there's anything going on. But I gotta go because he's about to pee and it's gonna make noises. Ah.